Hey you guys, it's Nene. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm so excited to have it because I can get on here and just kind of like express my feelings and tell everybody how I really feel. Um, you don't have to look on the show and see two minutes of my life and think that's who I am. So I'm glad that you guys are coming over here to my channel to, to really hear what I have to say and see what's happening in my life. I'm currently in Vancouver, Canada. Um, I've been here for a while shooting a TV pilot. Um, I am flying back to the States tomorrow, uh, to New York City, and then from New York I'll go to Atlanta, and where we will be having the reunion show um, in a few days. Um, I wanted to get on here and talk. I have a flight to catch in a few hours to get back to the States. Over here in Vancouver, we are on the same time zone as uh, Los Angeles, California. So back in New York and Atlanta on the East Coast, um, you guys are three hours ahead of us over here in Canada. So I have a flight that I have to get on in just about a couple of hours. So... Um, so I can make it back to the East Coast. Um, I wanted to hop on here to talk about the episode that aired on The Real Housewives of Atlanta where I have had a breakdown. Um, I started a video before this video and um, I was crying and I, I pulled myself together and said, you know, I don't want to do a video where I am like crying and everybody thinks I want, you know, some sort of pity or some, I don't want anything. I just wanted to be able to get on here and just be able to express how I honestly and truly feel or how I felt then. Um, so I saw the show a couple of days ago, probably way before you guys did, just a couple of days before you guys did. And... It's weird because it's like to do a video where I am like crying and everybody thinks I want, you know, some sort of pity or some, I don't want anything. I just wanted to be able to get on here and just be able to express how I honestly and truly feel or how I felt then. Um, so I saw the show a couple of days ago, probably way before you guys did, just a couple of days before you guys did. And... It's weird because it's like, I felt like I was having an out-of-body experience, like looking at my self crumble. I, I'm like, who who is that lady? You know, I'm just crumbling. I'm just, I, for so long, for so long, I have felt trapped like in a box and just can't get out i it's funny because i have talked to friends around me i've expressed my feelings to girlfriends that are around me people that i know nobody seemed to it's just kind of like just everybody just kind of let it like go over their heads or either just kind of like let it just kind of roll off you know I, I I'm not sure but I know that I've said it a lot to a lot of people I've said you know how I felt and the things that I'm going through or the things that are happening in my marriage uh, the way my house is ran my children just so much and people just beat you down and people just step on you when you're down people just bash and bash and bash and bash and you know ugh, people are so invested into other people's lives it's just it sucks I needed help and it was almost like nobody around me cared they didn't care to help or they didn't care to hear what I had to say um, that alone was just hard, just hard. You know, I'm not the kind of person that breaks down and 
um, and cry all the time, but I'm definitely a whale. I'm a whale that gives water to everybody. And when I need water, there's nobody to give it to me. I'm just over here, got to figure it out on my own. And that sucks. That really sucks. My husband saw the, um, the video as well. And when he saw the video, I asked him what he thought about it. And um, he told me a couple of things about how he saw the video. But what was interesting to me is that um, I'd been telling him for a long time, you know, this is way before Greg was diagnosed with cancer. I've been telling him for a long, long time, like how I felt just trying to get my feelings across and express myself and just wanting him to hear me or wanting my friends or family to hear me and nobody seemed to hear me. And I asked him about, you know, what he thought about the show. And he, he told me a couple things. But what was interesting is that he never said, um, I, wow, I, I didn't even know that it was that bad um, and that really bothered me the fact that he didn't say I I see what you are going through or I, I, I you know even if he couldn't see it at the moment I'm just watching it on the show I just thought he would say gosh man I so caught up in my own shit. I didn't even see you like, I didn't understand what you've been saying to me. Cause I've been saying it to him long before he was diagnosed with cancer. So I just want to continue to say that because there's been people to say a lot of things about things that I've said about being a caretaker. And there's also been a lot of caretakers who have reached out to me and showed me a lot of love and support. And I appreciate you guys for that. But it's been, you know, it's been, it's been a challenge. Um, I, I saw this saying um, one time on social media, and it said something like, uh, strangers will be the ones who will do more for you than, um, you know, family and friends. Uh, something like that. Anyway, it was something similar to that kind of saying and it becomes overwhelming and you know you just kind of like it just becomes overwhelming it really does um, <sighs> thank you guys for listening um, I never want to have a breakdown again in my life. Like, I never want to experience that. I never want to see that. I keep thinking about my son was there. God, my son was there. And I don't want my son to see me in a situation like that. I don't want my son to see me break down. I hate that when I saw my son trying to help me. I just, I hated that, but it happened and all I can do is try to move past it. Sometimes it's just life. Life is can be crazy. It can be crazy.
Sorry, guys. You know, I'm just human at some point in my life. I know I feel like I can be a machine sometimes, but I'm actually just human sometimes. So, um, thanks. Thank, thank you guys for all the supporters that have reached out to me and positive comments on my social media. Um, all the caretakers out there who has reached out to me and shared their experience with me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I never want to see myself in that situation ever again, ever again. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys.